all right so the final part of this tutorial is uh, how do you make adjustable quadrants right so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to divide this chart into four quadrants and it needs to appear something like this let me just do a dummy for you let me just draw a, a rectangle here that the border of the rectangle has to be in line with whatever I have here as a profitability when I increase this this line needs to go up till here and uh, that th this is what is going to define the what is the current level of profitability so I want something like this and uh, let's see how can we do this with a chart right so I'm going to delete this and I'm going to copy the same chart once again here I hold the control key and then I drag it I drop it off and my chart is copied now when my chart is copied I do not want a bubble chart anymore I want uh, a stacked bar chart so I'm going to change the chart the type of the chart to a stacked bar chart right here and click on OK click on OK and that's about it take off this uh, take off this stuff I also don't want this my chart is empty uh, and in here I am going to you know make the chart so in this I'm gonna right click and click on select data option and add the series so I'm not cared not caring about the series name the series values is 37% because the profitability that I've selected is 37% click on OK click on OK and OK now on top of 37% needs to come another another place which is going to be the area which comes from 37% till about 90% so I'm going to say the maximum range of my chart is 90 and whatever is remaining give me that so 0.9 minus 37% or the profit cutoff is going to decide the rest of the area of the chart so the first area of the chart is 37% the rest area of the chart is 53% now how do I get this I explained it again the maximum uh, profitability that I can have in my chart is 90% 90% minus whatever I have as in here 37 percent is going to give me the rest of the area in the chart 37 percent is something that i've already put in my chart now is the time to put 53 percent in my chart so right click select data i already have this as uh, 37 percent i'm going to say add one more and then series values is this all right and click on ok click on ok and that's about it now this needs to cover the entire area here right it cannot be just this uh, tall so right click on this format the data series you can also press control 1 and then gap width reduce it to 0% and this is going to be entirely uh, on the chart close this you can take off this 100% doesn't matter and then I don't want to see the orange because this is going to be with no fill and this has to be with a gray grayish background something like this and I'm going to click here on fill once again more fill and increase the transparency to about let's say 60 percent and this like this and maybe I can also add a border outside it right right now uh, this chart is filled with white color so I will pick up the chart right click on the chart and then fill the chart with no fill right so that I have a transparency in my chart and I'm going to carefully place this on top of these values right now when I move this you see that it's working right all right let me just put it aside we're going to do the bit of formatting in a while but let me just put this aside for a while now I need another uh, similar type of chart but in uh, uh, in a vertical fashion this is horizontal I need it for a vertical scroll bar that can adjust the quadrant for the sales so I'm going to copy this chart and put it right here once again now instead of a bar chart I need a column chart but again a stacked column chart so right click change the chart type do a column but a stacked and click on OK and in the stat column chart what I want is not 27% but the value of the sales and that's about it and the maximum value that can accommodate in my chart is 250,000 so as of now my target is 68,000 whatever is remaining after 250,000 needs to come in here so 250 
and thousand minus whatever is here is the balance and right click here select data add, what's that add one more series so this is already added so i'm going to edit that and uh, 60 instead of 63 percent i'm going to select 182 which is the balance click on ok click on ok as of now this chart is going way beyond 250 but we need to restrict the chart to 250,000. so i'm going to select the axis control one on the axis and just make this as 250,000, right so this is completely overlapping now only this needs to be highlighted this needs to be turned off so right click fill as no fill and this needs to be filled with this color and the transparency needs to be set to 60 percent okay the same as we did it here and the outline needs to be i think this one all right all right so we have this uh, this chart ready and i'm going to neatly place this on top of this okay and i'm going to neatly place this chart on top of this and i can also actually remove let's see oh this is going till 100 percent, so i need to fix this as well so from zero till 90 is what my chart says but this is still 100 i need to fix that control one and uh, the maximum needs to be 0.9 right and that's about it and you can either delete this or you can neatly merge it with the values i think i'm going to merge it or delete it whatever works for you so let's see if you can okay we are able to do it all right so this is my data and let me just squeeze down the scroller a bit so that it matches okay perfectly all right now let's just see oops it's working you see that so that's how you can make uh, four different quadrants adjustable quadrants with your bubble chart i hope you like the tutorial on creating a dynamic bubble chart matrix uh, please leave a comment and let me know what you think about the chart and do stay tuned to goodly and i will talk to you soon ciao bye